Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Thursday night, uh, July 27th, 2023. It's about 10.47 p.m. here. West Coast time, California. Latest quake shows a 2.7 here. Uh, looks like off the coast, potentially of Morocco there. Slight uptick occurring across this area today. And if you notice, we still have some earthquake activity ramping up into the um, Honduras area where we've been watching this swarm kick up here into the uh this little bay area down here into the uh, honduras area it's going to be the uh, gulf of fonseca seen a quite a big earthquake swarm kicking up now nothing showing up here on the usgs map but as you can see uh, earthquake activity over the last 24 hours continuing with a slight migration of some deeper movement it looks like just upstream I uh, notice that ring is raised off the globe here. So still watching this area pretty closely. Um, go, oh, Let's go over to the EMSC model here and take a look. Here we are uh, once again into that uh, gulf here where we've been having a significant earthquake swarm. Now I'm not for sure what's going on with the EMSC model. Uh, but when you click on the last week or last 48 hours, it just doesn't bring up those earthquakes. And I, I'm not for sure why. So last 24 hours up here on the map, the last hour of activity only shows one here and that was a 2.6 but as you can see last 24 hours earthquake activity continuing i don't know what's up with this pattern that they have up here it may be just have to do with something um the way this is set up here with the emsc data uh, so it's kind of hard to say why it's you know lined up perfectly like that i don't believe those are actually uh, happening like that i think that's just how this new system works there in their data but either way definitely uh, some earthquake activity uh kicking up across that region uh, let's take a look at the list here uh in the area nicaragua 2.6 magnitude earthquake uh there's that 2.9 here it looks like uh just about an hour or so ago so a slight temporary uh relief out here uh, even though this is still continuing we really haven't seen any major scale movement we did see some adjustment going on here across the Caribbean plate, though, over around the Puerto Rico region. Got to remember this area is uh, it's a subduction zone, the Middle America Trench here. Let me show you guys on this map a little bit better. Uh, Middle America Trench, a subduction zone. When this type of activity happens here, we're looking at the Cocos Plate subducting underneath the portion of the uh, Caribbean plate and the other portion here, the uh, North American plate up here. And that does add further strain across the region. We did see some further activity uh, with a 4.0 here just outside Puerto Rico in the Dom Dominican Republic area, 84 kilometers deep. And a uh, slight movement here across the uh, Virgin Islands with that 3.9, uh, 49 kilometers deep. So kind of watching this, uh, seeing how this plays out. Um, again, this hasn't completely stopped and we haven't seen any major earthquake activity. Uh, from this event, just uh, an ongoing swarm of activity, so to speak, across this region. And um, bring the last 24 hours up there on the map. So, yeah, we'll definitely keep an eye on it and uh, report back on any major changes uh, that may be taking place here in the near future. Uh, Texas area, a little bit of movement happening out here, western Texas. Most of that, though, was from earlier this morning, it looks like. Some twos kicking off here. Uh, in the Texas area. Uh, let's see, what have we got into the Pacific Northwest? A 2.5 coming in to the uh, Strait of Georgia region, it looks like. Just offshore. Uh, I believe that has to do with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone uh, trimmer activity that we've been seeing uh, up here lately across the Washington region. Now, this is today's activity. 305 epicenters of trimmer a little bit uh, scattered out throughout the Pacific Northwest, but uh, in the days past, we have seen some activity uh, situated right around that uh, area south of Seattle. Previous day before that, too, a little bit of movement. So, looks like we're getting a, a little bit of stress built up here above the trimmer levels. Nothing big going on across the Cascadia currently, but uh, continue to watch that. Also, around Northern California here, the very southern end of the Cascadia Mega Thrust. It's right off here, right offshore. Uh, seeing a handful of smaller quakes uh, with the latest looks like a 2.4 25 kilometers deep into that subduction zone uh, the rest of northern california a little spotty as we look at the bay area and southern cal um, 
not a whole lot going on. Just a couple small microquakes across the area of Southern California. Uh, looking at the Yellowstone map here, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. See if we got any earthquake activity that's been stirred up. It doesn't, you know, see what we got here. Maybe a handful of smaller quakes, it looks like, within the last couple hours. I wouldn't call that a swarm, but uh, some very small microquake activity. It looks like that's occurring around the northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park. Big island of Hawaii out here. Uh, a little bit of movement across the Pahala area. And one out here around this little seamount here. Looks like a 2.8, 10 kilometers deep. We haven't really seen too much activity out here. Or the Loihi Seamount uh, recently, but uh, continue to watch that. Up into the Alaska region. Very typical activity here across the Aleutian Trench. Nothing big going on yet. And the Kuro Kamachaka. This earthquake here from early this morning, a 5.3. Doesn't look like anything stirred up here um, across the area following that movement this morning. Let me double check here on the globe. Uh, that's about it here across this area. One earthquake down around the Mariana Trench, 4.9. That's a pretty shallow earthquake here, though. Uh, just outside of Guam, 4.9, 10 kilometers deep. Um, let's see what we got here across the area. Quiet zone here stretches across the New Guinea area. Um, and for the most part, uh, the clustering remains around, looks like the Banda Sea area within this region of the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, over across the Java Trench, things pretty quiet. Uh, looks like some minor activity up around the uh, plate boundary up north here into China. Got a 5.0 and a 4.6 throughout the uh, last 24 hours here. Relatively shallow at about 10 kilometers uh, below the surface. And uh, the uh, Vanuatu area, there's some of the activity from earlier this morning and some activity across the New Zealand area starting to fill in. Now looking at the Vanuatu region, looks like uh, we did see some this afternoon kick up as well. Uh, 5.0 and a 4.8 in this cluster of earthquake activity. Down across the Tonga region, this earthquake here, almost 400 kilometers deep for that 5.4. Now it looks like there's some movement going on here across New Zealand with a 3.3. So let's double check and see what's going on here across New Zealand area earthquake activity there's that 3.3 looks like just south of Tapo super volcano uh 2.8 south island here about four hours ago 2.6 six hours ago so a slight uptick uptick here it looks like across the last 12 hours uh quick glance at the earthquake drums see what's going on there's some of that activity stirring up here well that's from uh it looks like that's about 18 hours or so ago that movement uh, the newer activity is going to be more confined here that's going to be the 3.3 uh, showing up here across the black black stump farm area and uh, some of the smaller quakes being reported in there as well but i don't see anything major going on no major swarms a quick glance here at the volcano uh, drums here will uh, show us some of that earthquake activity that's been stirring up there throughout the uh last few hours but i don't see any major specific uh, volcanic activity ongoing here at least as far as the earthquake movement goes um so we we'll continue to watch that we haven't um we haven't really seen that um westward migration here as we would expect following this movement in vanuatu so i would suggest keeping an eye on this area back across the plate boundary uh, until that happens Mediterranean region looks like a um, little threes and twos kicking up here across Turkey and areas to the west. Uh, there's that 2.7 coming in to the strait. The Atlantic Ocean looks like a couple smaller earthquakes here in the uh, mid-Atlantic Ridge. Going to be this activity right here, 5.1. The latest looks like prior to that couple minutes was a 4.9. So things starting to stir up out here across the divergent boundaries. South America area. Uh, looks like we had an earthquake down into the um, South Sandwich Trench as well. It's going to be a 4.7 earlier this evening. South America, a handful of smaller quakes. And uh, some movement up the coast there, Peru. Uh, I still think, though, we definitely need to watch this area around the Caribbean plate with all this uh, sufficient movement here over the last 
48 hours it's been uh it's been a dandy of an earthquake swarm uh, that's been kicking up there like i say a little bit of migration in the deeper levels up north um we'll just have to watch that and see how it plays out uh let's see what else we have here i don't think there's anything major going on here all right let's check out space weather activity just going to keep this a short update uh spaceweather.com or, or solarham.net you could use spaceweather.com too but i prefer the uh, simple layout that uh solarham offers here well i don't know what happened to the uh there it is not really showing up there on the site but it is here on the official site so not for sure what's going on there with that solar ham site uh looks like some long duration uh m flare and c flare activity i don't think that was earth directed um let's see what we have kicking off here very active sunspot region on the northeastern limb of the sun notice those magnetic lines here sparking out across this sunspot area uh, let's go ahead and look in the uh, magnet magnetogram image here that will show the complex structure if it has one there it is uh, a couple different cores in here gaining strength it looks like remember this one here was relatively small a couple days ago this is just growing and intensifying uh far as the uh the sunspot goes and it's at a perfect time here in its growth level once it gets around here to the earth facing side of the sun uh this might be one to watch pretty closely also newer newer sunspot down here kind of getting a little couple different areas that may be worth watching uh but i think this area right here deserves uh some watching over the next couple days right now it looks like 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 35 x flare around five percent no major coronal holes or no major cmes have been um, directed at earth so things will remain calm here for the next couple days no auroras for the most part at the polar regions very calm conditions across the area uh storm prediction center here looks like uh potentially on friday slight risk across areas in the yellow looks like uh most of that threat's going to be some wind and hail events there across the uh, minnesota and um uh yeah minnesota illinois area all this region could see a, just a slight chance for some severe weather thunderstorm outlook here for tomorrow as well uh blown up across the eastern portion of the country and uh of course down here into the uh desert southwest getting in on some moisture once again southern california has got a watch coming up here looks like maybe some uh monsoonal moisture heading up into this area come a monday um here's the weekend notice some green showing up here across the map that's some monsoonal moisture thunderstorms and that looks like that could continue there into a good portion of uh next week uh we'll have to keep an eye on that there is something way out here well looks like that's already changed i was checking out this earlier earlier and it showed a, a pretty significant low pressure system coming into northern california but that's already been squashed so it's already been revised but it looks like here in the coming days southern california going to get into uh, some rain out here across the desert all right folks um just be on guard stay safe out there uh we'll have to keep an eye on the activity there into the um the gulf around the uh, honduras area right in this region like i say there that little pattern i believe is just how their epicenter location works there on their system it just doesn't look like um i mean i guess we could look at any other areas that may be swarming um that doesn't really show any type of pattern we'd have to have something very similar uh in event size to uh see that activity it looks very strange as far as that pattern goes but like i say i think it's just they don't want to overlap one another when it comes to the close-up map so they space them out equally it just looks weird definitely looks like a pattern but i don't believe that um that's just how these guys are putting up their earthquakes there on the map that's my two cents anyway uh, you know kind of makes sense a little bit uh down here no major swarm 
uh, like I say, we'd have to have something significant going off here uh, to see if that's, you know, that may just be their thing. <laughs> it may just be their thing, so to speak. But either way, um, have a good night, folks, and uh, make sure you guys um, stay safe out there. I do have um, numerous seismograph stations here across the globe that I'm monitoring the activity. They all look pretty quiet right now. Uh, looks like maybe a spike or something coming into Yellowstone right now as well. Uh, the remainder of the stations out here, pretty quiet. A little quiet time, but that... Uh, I don't know if that's going to last all that much longer. Continue to watch this region across the Middle America Trench. Also the Puerto Rico area with all this uh, northeastward movement that they've been, been experiencing here against the uh, Caribbean plate. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe. We'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning sometime. Have a wonderful evening. Peace out.